Hello everyone, this is Derek with Reef Automation. Today I'm gonna to go over the new HANA nitrate checker. So as you can see, I have some tank water here and I have yet to open up the unit. So let's get started. So when you first open it up, there is quite a lot of stuff in here. Uh, a little bit more than any checker I've ever seen. Uh, so just to begin with that, let's get some of the stuff out of here. Um, so we got two vials like normal. We got a number of different things here. Boy, there's a lot of stuff in here. So uh, I'll put the battery in the unit. Okay, so we got the battery in there. Okay, so the first thing it says to do is get seven milliliters into the syringe right here. So we'll get seven milliliters here and it says to put it into the mixing vial. So we'll go ahead and do that. Okay, the next thing it says is to get out uh, reagent A and get four milliliters. Now it's got this little um, plunger at the end to help you get the liquid out. So keep in mind there's gonna be a gap at the top, but basically if you fill it pretty much the top, that's roughly four milliliters. So we'll pop that in there. So now after that, it says to put in HI781BO packet. Now, if you look at these, they are different. This is CO and this is BO. So it says to put BO in there. Okay, after you've put the B packet in, it says to put the cap back on and shake for one minute. Okay, once you've shaken it for one minute, it says to remove the cap and thread the needle that comes on the smaller syringe and put it onto the larger syringe. It kind of just twists on there. It then says to draw the liquid out. So we'll draw the liquid out, put that over here. Okay, next it says to take the uh, filter, this guy, you untwist it here, and on this side that doesn't have the little O-ring, you're gonna get one of these filters out. So we'll put the filter in here, and then this goes on top and it twists on. All right. Once you get that, it says to take the needle back off, twist this on here, and then put the needle back on so it goes through the filter. You then get a curvette out, and it says to very slowly push the liquid through. So we'll do that now. Okay, so we have 10 milliliters pushed into the curvette. Now it says to put the curvette in. And we're gonna hit the button and it should switch to C2. Okay, once it switches to C2, it says to now put HI781C zero reagent, okay? So again, make sure that you know that the packets, while they look exactly the same, they are different. Now you see how that says C on it. Okay, so we'll put C in there now. And now it says to shake vigorously for two minutes. Okay, so after two minutes, you put the curvette back in 
and then you're gonna press and hold and it is an eight minute timer. After the eight minutes are up, we will then check what our nitrate is. All right, so after the eight minutes are up, you're gonna give this a, a little bit of a second or two and there is your nitrate level. So my nitrate is 1.87. And that is how you do the test. Now it does have the ability to dilute if your nitrate is not going to be within the range. Now the range of the unit without dilution is zero to five PPM with an accuracy of a 0.25 PPM or 2% of the reading. Now you can dilute to get zero to 50 PPM. The accuracy goes down a little bit of 2.5 ppm, but if you dilute it, there's a number of steps that you need to take a little bit differently. So if you wanted to dilute it in the directions, it says that you're going to measure one milliliter of sample into the one milliliter graduated cylinder, which is why it comes with an extra syringe for you to dilute it. Um, you then are going to dispense um, artificial seawater. So it has to be salt water into the 10 milliliter uh, vial. So basically nine milliliters instead, and that will dilute it. Um, so it's a little bit different um, when you're diluting and there's a few more steps it looks like, but you can dilute it. So putting everything away is pretty simple. So that's the uh, HANA nitrate checker. Um, I did find it to be quite cumbersome. It takes roughly 15 minutes. There's quite a few steps to it. Unlike some of their other HANA checkers, like the alkalinity, the phosphate checker that I've used, um, it's kind of similar to the calcium checker. The calcium checker had a lot of steps. Um, this guy takes a little bit longer. It takes about 15 minutes, um, I would say, with eight minutes of waiting for the solution to settle and having to shake it, I think two minutes and a minute, uh, you'll find that it's a little bit longer to do, but it does give you an accurate reading of uh, mine's about 1.87, which is a little low uh, compared to some of the tests I've been doing. But uh, if it's about 1.57, uh, that's about right for my tank. So other than that, I did find it to be quite useful uh, it just takes a little bit of while. I'm going to try doing the dilution test uh, with my other tank and see how that works out. But uh, hopefully you liked the video. And if you did, go ahead and um, like the video with a thumbs up below. And if you haven't subscribed, go ahead and subscribe. we got lots of videos coming. And we do live streams every weekend. Thank you for watching.